926. We're talking about getting lit this morning. Lit for literature, that is. There's a fun place to hang out in Richmond. The Lit Book Bar. It's a new bookstore that lets you browse book bookshelves with a drink in hand. Joining me live this morning from Lit Bar is digital reporter Mariah Ballard. Good morning, Mariah. Hey, Zach. Well, you know me. You know I'm here having fun and having a great time. And now we're going to go on a tour with the owner, Jillian. She's here with us again. Look, I love this wall. We have to start here because what else are we doing besides getting lit? <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about the book bar. Again, like you said earlier, and tell us about the sectioning, the organization that you have inside of the book bar. Yeah, so we have um, two full sections of children's mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. um, from the range of infants all the way up to teenagers. Mm -hmm. We then feeds into nonfiction, biography, history, and mm -hmm. then young adult, which is going to be our 16 through 22 age range. Awesome. Um, and then it, it feeds into fiction. We have a very large fantasy section uh -huh. and, and then general fiction as well. Um, and if we go all the way to the front, yeah. Um, we have our local section, um, mm -hmm. and this is going to highlight all of our local authors. Wow! So you were telling me about um, your favorite kind of books to read. I think you said romance thrillers. Yeah. Yes, and tell me about that book that you were talking about earlier. Um, I was talking about The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Mm -hmm. um, it's about this young lady who's married to a man who, and she knows she has he has three other wives. Yes. Um, or I should say three wives total. And she's not supposed to know about them or any detail about them, but she finds a note in his pocket with one of the wives' names. So the book is about her finding the note wow. and then finding the other wives and, and this, this journey to, to what leads her to, to learning about the other wives. Wow. You have a wide range of books here. You have your personal favorite. Other people can come in and check out the book collection. Like we were talking about again, the local author section is something that I'm interested in specifically. Tell us a little bit about how you choose these books from these local authors. Um, so a lot of them reach out to me. So we have a system too that when local authors come in and want us to put a book on their shelves, we ask them to donate one book mm -hmm. um, just so we can see how much it's getting touched and how much our community is interested in it. Mm -hmm. And once that book moves, off of our shelf then we'll go back to the local author and, and purchase more copies from them wow so now we are going to get into the magical moment we are going behind the bar with miss karen we are so excited guys because we're about to figure out just how lit these books can get so joining me now miss karen how are you doing, doing this morning great, great. it's so good to see you talk Thank a little you. bit about your role here at the book bar well my official title is general manager, and I'm just kind of, I think, are the um, official organizer. Chief organizer Chief of, stuff. of stuff. Of stuff. I love that. I love that. And you guys have this specialty thing that we you guys do, do cocktail do. of the month. Tell me a little bit about that. Tell me how you guys decide what goes into the cocktail of the month. Um, it's a lot of playing around. Um, so our our regular menu is very gin heavy, so I like to have the cocktail of the month, something a little bit different than what's on our, our, our normal menu. Um, so this month we went with a whiskey. Oh, okay, Miss Karen, you're about right. to start pouring That's us up. Right. Tell so us a little bit about what's going into starts this with one. Two ounces of Buffalo Trace whiskey. Okay. And then the special ingredient, Aperol. Oh. And then we have a little uh, lemon juice and a little simple syrup. Yeah. So the creative process going behind this drink every month is the book that you all are highlighting. That is correct. correct? That is correct. So this drink is called the Watch It Burn. Okay. We just spoke to the author, Kristen, about that book, which I'm excited to get into. I would love to read it. And listen, Miss Karen was just telling us about her newfound career. That's right. Of being a bartender. That is thanks right. Thanks to her family. You Tell us a little bit. Trip. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so she is the bartender bartender here at the Lit Book Bar, and she's not pouring regular drinks, guys. These are specialty cocktails, handcrafted, hand-designed for the book of the month. I'm nervous about this one. They said they said some things might get well, a little heated. It's also a murder mystery. Ooh. Yes, it is. That is so cool. And do you want to move it up to the... Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are we going to see? Oh, that's how we're going to watch it burn. I love 
love that. That is so interesting. And you can come in here, you can taste that drink while reading the Watch It Burn book. That's correct. Exactly. That is exciting. So how important is it for you to be located here in the historic downtown Richmond? Well, it is such a blessing to be in this district. The, the outpouring that we've had from the community, from the city, from the other local business owner is just, it's small town. It's wonderful. It was, yes. It's really been a great experience. Do you get it. the chance to read any of the books here? Well. Or do you just drink the booze? I, well, <laughs> I'm a book star. She, she, she starts a lot of the books. She's, okay. A book starter like I'm we were talking starter. about. But like you said, book reading is book reading. The physical book, hard copy, audio book. Audio. So can I come in here and just put in my headphones? Absolutely. Kind of vibe out? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. You were talking about the other events that you all have too. Mm -hmm. Some things that you guys are thinking of having. Maybe in the future we can yeah. get a little comedy, stand-up comedy. Yes. I'm looking at the husband back there. We would love to have stand-up comedy um, and really highlight anything that relates back to literature, whether it's songwriters, comedians, poetry, um, open mic night, just any kind of creative, um, even skits, something, yeah. anything that, that people have to write and it can relate back to a literacy. A place for the community to gather and just to start a conversation and, and, and have a good time. Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel like this is the place. You guys are already know I've already told my two friends here I'm gonna be coming back to hang out Please I'm gonna do. take a sip of this drink y'all listen don't tell the bosses let's see yeah, oh yeah listen we're oh all yeah Miss Karen back high here. five <laughs> thank you guys so much yes Zach we're gonna send it back to you while we go, go get, get lit, lit. <laughs> yeah when you send it back to us make some mocktails for us in the studio we're all parched I got you okay. I'll bring some I promise okay sounds like a plan <laughs> Mariah thank you 930